Today, I would like to tell you everything you need to know about HSA. An HSA is a health savings account. An HSA is a special kind of tax-advantaged account that's designed to help you pay for healthcare expenses. Anyone can open an HSA as long as uh, you have health coverage through a qualified high-deductible health plan. If you don't have this type of health plan, you cannot open an HSA. Also, if you're not covered by any other health plan, you're not enrolled in Medicare and cannot be claimed as a dependent on someone else's tax return. The account is owned by you, so no matter where you work, the money that's in the account always belongs to you, even if it was contributed by your employer. You can use the money in the account to pay for your current medical expenses or save it for the future um, and, and pay for medical expenses, including those in retirement. There are many special advantages to opening an HSA. You've probably heard of the flexible spending account. Well, unlike this flexible spending account, there is no use it or lose it with an HSA. Any dollars left in your account at the end of the year roll over to the next year. That means that you decide whether to spend or save your HSA dollars, which makes it easier for you to save for the future. You can withdraw money from your HSA account without paying taxes or penalty as long as those dollars are used to pay for qualified medical expenses. Qualified medical expenses include things that are associated with your health plan, such as deductibles and coinsurance, vision care, dental expenses, over-the-counter supplies, and some insurance premiums. Using your HSA is easy. Let's start by talking about contributions. Both you and your employer can contribute money to your HSA. Remember, employer contributions are not taxable to you as an employee, and once the money is deposited into your account, it belongs to you. The best way to contribute to your account is through automatic payroll deductions if your employer allows this. Not only this is convenient, but payroll deductions help you make consistent contributions and you get the most tax savings this way. Plus, you have the flexibility to change your payroll deduction at any time throughout the year. You have a lot of flexibility when contributing to your HSA. You can put money into your account at any time during the year, and you can even contribute up to until the tax filing deadline, which gives you more time to fully fund your account. If you fund your account on a post-tax basis, you'll realize the tax savings when you file your taxes for the year. This type of contribution becomes an above-the-line deduction. Now let's talk about how much you can contribute to your HSA. Every year, the IRS sets a maximum amount that you can contribute to your HSA. This maximum is based on your health plan contract type, single or family. These maximums include contributions made by you and your employer. Together, your contributions cannot exceed these amounts. Every year, the amounts change. Of course, there are exceptions to every rule, and with HSA contributions, the exception is that the account holders who are 55 or older at any time during that year, these individuals can contribute an additional $1,000 every year to an HSA. This is called a catch-up contribution. There are just a few things to keep in mind when using your HSA. Withdrawals from your account are tax-free as long as the money is used for a qualified expense. Expenses must be included on or after the date that your HSA is opened. Expenses can be reimbursed only up to the balance in the account. And there is no time limit on when you can request reimbursement for an expense. You can wait as long as you want to submit an expense. Just make sure you keep all the documentation for the purchase with your tax records. In case you are audited by the IRS, you'll need to provide the documentation to show that the money you withdrew was used for qualified medical expenses. If it wasn't, you'll pay income tax on those dollars as well as a 20% penalty if you are under age of 65. If you're over age of 65, withdrawals for ineligible expenses are only subject to income tax, but not the penalty. Check with your tax advisor if you have any questions about this. As always, thanks for watching and please comment under the video in case you have a question. We love helping people and we'll respond ASAP. Love this video? Don't forget to share your happiness with your friends. And please, please support us by subscribing to our channel. Let's talk money.
hope to see you again.